Going on pace to beat the S&P this month amidst the uh, resurgence of interest in crypto. And a hot spot this week, Austin, Texas. Let's get over to Mackenzie Sagala. She's live from the Consensus Crypto Conference. Mackenzie. Hey, David. So consensus is always a big deal for crypto enthusiasts. But this year, Wall Street is here in full force as well. I sat down with New York Stock Exchange President Lynn Martin, just as the NYSE says that it's planning to issue Bitcoin options. Well, we've been having conversations with the SEC for more than six years about Bitcoin ETFs. I think you can't argue with the success of Bitcoin ETFs and the liquidity it has brought to the underlying markets. Now, crypto's market cap has gained about a trillion dollars since those ETFs began trading. The funds are now up to nearly $60 billion in assets under management, with BlackRock just this week surpassing Grayscale's GBTC in AUM. A lot of those same issuers have spot Ethereum funds in the pipeline. Now, they told me that the SEC's move last week to pave the way for their approval came as a total shock, which goes to the biggest talker here at Consensus, which is the seismic shift in crypto politics in Washington. President Biden seems to be warming up to the sector. Donald Trump is accepting political donations and digital tokens. And there's also pro-crypto legislation swiftly getting voted through on Capitol Hill. Elizabeth Warren had a huge sway over crypto politics. And if anything happened in the last two weeks, her party said, Elizabeth, enough. Now you've got us in hot water with this giant group of crypto voters in a very tight election year, and we don't appreciate it. Now, the next big push is to get stablecoin legislation to the finish line. Many see that as a big part of securing U.S. dollar dominance. Guys?